We load the trailer on the tow vehicle and start heading to the water, always hoping for the best, but it just doesn't always end that way. Kind of like some of the stuff we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Pinellas County, Florida, where this past week a man was thrown from his boat after hitting a wave near Pasay Grill Beach, leaving the vessel unmanned and heading toward beachgoers. The victim was too far offshore to be able to swim into safety, but fortunate for him, his cell phone was still working and he was able to make the 911 call to authorities to alert them of the situation. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office quickly responded with Marine and Air units and deputies on the beach, and they were able to quickly locate the victim and rescue him treading water approximately a half mile offshore. Once the responders secured the gentleman safely aboard the boat, they quickly turned their attention to his out-of-control vessel that can be seen in these images here getting dangerously close to swimmers near the beach. Here we can see the first responders going in to make their attempt to stop the vessel. They let the vessel circle around them a few times and then decided to approach from the inside and try and match its speed. By coming to the inside of the vessel, it's going to allow the runaway vessel to ever so slightly just turn into the first responder boat, where they hope to get an officer on board and get this vessel back under control. And right here we're going to see our officers go ahead and take charge and do so. We'll have an officer jump on board the runaway vessel as it turned into them, and he will pull back on the throttle and take control of the vessel. Fortunately, no injuries were reported in this event due to the quick response of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to Long Branch, New Jersey, where this past week the Coast Guard had to rescue three people who were in distress when their vessel began to take on water and sink off the coast. The Coast Guard report said they received a call from 911 dispatchers around 9.14 a.m. reporting the boaters needed help and were about three miles offshore. A lifeboat from Manasquan Inlet and a helicopter from Atlantic City responded. The helicopter, which was already on a training mission, arrived first and lowered a rescue swimmer into the ocean to assist the three in boarding the lifeboat once it arrived. The Coast Guard did mention that the rescue was aided by the fact that all three mariners who were on board the distressed 25-foot vessel were wearing life jackets at the time of arrival. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported and the passengers from the vessel that was sinking were all dropped off at the Shark River Municipal Marina in Neptune. And this just serves as a good reminder that anytime you're heading offshore, especially if you have people on board your vessel, make sure everybody knows where the life jackets are so in an emergency situation, everybody can go ahead and grab one. And if you have the equipment, go with an EPIRB. Make sure you have fully charged cell phones and VHF radios and all these items will help assist if something goes wrong. Our next item to make the boating news this week is going to keep us here in North America, where cargo ship delays continue to mount. Currently, it's estimated that several of America's largest ports are only operating at 60 to 70 percent capacity, causing massive gaps in our supply chain of imports coming into North America. Most of these ports that are operating at 60 to 70 percent capacity have multiple factors behind them, labor shortage being a big one, but it's not just labor shortage at the ports. Many of these ports are reporting even if they could get this cargo offloaded, there's not enough trouble trucks on the road to get this cargo to its final destination outside of the port. All of these delays are expected to have huge ramifications over the holidays as retailers don't have enough product to sell, and many are urging you now, if you haven't already, go ahead and start your holiday shopping now, because if you wait to the last second, those gifts you're looking for likely just are not going to be available, and they don't expect the supply chain to catch up until well into 2022. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us back down to South Florida, where this past week things were heating up when the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission received a call of a 27-foot vessel on fire near Bowbridge Point in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. The FWC, the Coast Guard, and the Lee County Sheriff's Office all reported to the blaze. At the time of their arrival, the vessel was already fully engulfed in flames. There was reports that three people were on board, but fortunately, all three people escaped without injuries. The FWC has launched an investigation to try and determine the cause of the blaze, but at this time, it still remains undetermined. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know when you might see your stories over here. Just like Sonar Sophie 9192 Arnold Kellogg, Calumet IS, and Todd G3 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.